CJ Strongheart. I fight at uh, 145, 155. Um, ha had about five fights, I believe. Kind of one of the pioneers in the sense that I fought when the commission didn't exist. So I have some fights that aren't really on my record, but fun, good fun experiences. <laughs> Uh, well, I grew up on Saikai's First Nation, which is in the interior of British Columbia, and uh, a lot of my young youth youth, like when before school and all that was spent very traditionally with my grandpa's, my great grandpa, my grandpa, uh, come from a matriarchal society, so I spent a lot of time with my aunties and just with my cousins, just living life, doing fun kid stuff, but not really knowing I was doing a lot of really traditional things. Like, I, did, I thought it was really common to just go out with my grandpa to the woods every day. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I find First Nations people have uh, with our history and the life we used to live, living a hard life is more, more suited to that. Something my grandma always used to say, which always made me laugh, which is because um, to get to our fish camp, it's like about an hour up a trail and walk, and it's a very small, narrow way. You have to walk quite a ways after a long drive. And she, at her older age, like she, we're asking her, do you want us to like open the path and we'll get a quad in here and we can drive you? And she's like, no, no, because she didn't want people to find our trail so easily. And she'd walk there, the whole thing with her tuz, which is a stick, that's how you say it, a walking stick in my nature, in my culture. And she would just say, it's just hard being Indian, you just gotta deal with it. <laughs> so everybody just shut up and dealt with it. <laughs>Uh, I was just, I did, I got really into my heroes, like people like Mike Tyson and all of them, what they accomplished and what they want to do, what their mindset was into something like that. Because I was excited, I told my old coach, uh, I was training out of Kai Ten MMA in Prince George at the time, I told my coach, I love him, he's a great guy to this day, uh, Karm Monhas was my coach, and he, um, I told him, and he was super excited right away, he was like, oh, this is going to be awesome, this is going to be this, and so it was a lot of that, a lot of fun, and just a lot of prep, a lot of mental prep. I just kind of used on my skill. Like I went for a throw because I, I, I was just being free. Like I couldn't tell you why I wanted to do that throw. I just saw the opportunity. I was like, I'm going to go for it. And I just had an overwhelming confidence that once we're down there, I'll be able to figure it out. And then like when I got down there, again, I just figured it out. I framed out. Shots were kind of grazing off me because I'm framing off well with my shoulder and everything. And then I'm like, okay, I get my underhook. I got my underhook. Now I have more control of his body. So I lift him up and then I reestablish my Z guard. And as I Z guard, I shield off. And as I shield off, I'm starting to basically Philly shell from the bottom. And shots aren't really hitting me. And then he's just missing me or he's just not quite hitting me. So he starts leaning in hard in on me. And I feel his hips lean into my shield. And I'm like, oh, I can get under him. So I reach under for the knee bar and I love leg locks, they're like one of my favorite things in, in jiu-jitsu, so I rolled up with the, the knee bar and then just started applying pressure and uh, then all of a sudden someone's shaking me off to let him go and I, I let him go and I won. It's like, because uh, at the time there was like an anti-bullying thing or some type of um, thing going on in Vanderhoof and like there was these posters everywhere that's like, I will be, and it had all these blank spaces and a pen. And I found like everyone in town, because at the time I was working with uh, some troubled youth. So I'd spend time with them in the day. And every one of them I saw, I'd just walk up to it and I would just, and everyone would see me do it, I put, I will be champion. Everyone, so every time I walked around town, I saw, like I wrote that, there it is. And it just sort of like, everywhere I went, I would constantly remind myself that was what was gonna happen. And um, <laughs> yeah, and I just, and they took them down, which is sad, because I had them everywhere, because I wanted to bring back the belt and I wanted to take a picture with it. Like all of them I did, like I walked to every one of these signs and I wrote that down. And it was, no, it was good stuff.